Well, Jeff, thanks. And as Jeff just mentioned, the tidal flooding wasn't significant for most of Hampton Roads, but it did cause problems on the Outer Banks today. Senator your side, Tamara Scott joins us now live. And Tamara, parts of the Outer Banks are dealing with overwash tonight. Yeah, that's right. You know, as Jeff had said, we are right around that time for that high tide time in the Outer Banks area. But those NCDOT workers down there have been working for the past several days just trying to help these drivers stay safe as waters continue to rise on NC-12. Basically, the coast of North Carolina, the entire east coast, as a matter of fact, is sort of getting a triple whammy right now. Tim Hass with NCDOT says king tides and high winds plus an active Atlantic coast is playing a part in the high waters they've seen over the past couple of days in the Outer Banks. All those things together have created a situation where we're getting some pretty serious ocean overwash at high tide. Low tide has already passed for the day, but take a look at these pictures and video of what NC-12 and parts of the Outer Banks looked like earlier. During high tide, the ocean water is rushing over the dunes, creating what almost looks like a lake on the road. At high tide, what we're getting is we're getting ocean overwash over the dunes, especially in certain locations between Rodanthe and the Mark Bass Lake Bridge, also in Buxton, also down on Okra Cove. Hass says part of the road between Rodanthe and Bass Knight Bridge on NC-12 was closed for several hours after high tide earlier today. They always encourage people to turn around from standing flood water, but once it goes down, there are some other things to keep in mind. If they're going down or they're coming back to Hatteras Island, is um, there will be there will be some water and some sand on the roadways, so and we're telling people to drive with extreme caution and to keep in mind that that water on the roadway is salt water. So the least amount of wave you can make as you go through it, the better it'll be for your car. Now we have gotten word from the NCDOT that parts of NC-12 have been closed between Rodanthe and Bass Knight Bridge as well as on Ocracoke Island. Tim Haas says that their crews will begin right back up early, first light tomorrow morning to begin the cleanup process. That's the latest here. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.